right? A bit more knowledge is about the apple and the apple, right? So uh, if you remember back when he was a kid, yeah, I think it was about 60s, 70s to start to introduce the disco idea, right? And he used to, if he went to a school, he used to have a school disco, right? So this disco idea, right, uh, is, is basically, uh, again, to do with the apple, uh, the discipleship, right? Because if, if you remember, they always used to have a disco ball, right? The disco ball hanging from the ceiling, right? And this basically is representative of the apple, right? The apple hanging, uh, the fruit hanging off the tree, right? The forbidden fruit. So, um, when you have the disco, it's like the disciple, the discoverer, discovery, like the Christopher Columbus, the discoverer type ideas and all that. See, uh, and you could also maybe make the sort of connection with it being like the globe, right? So uh, I think the globe and the apple type ideas are interconnected, because obviously you've got the Isaac Newton, uh, Isaac Newton, when the apple dropped on his head and all that, and he discovered gravity, right? So it's like the, the gravy train, see? The apple to hit them on the head and he, and he enters the gravy train or something, see what I mean? The, uh, the globe is obviously the globus crucica type of idea, right? So it's sort of domination of the world, uh, conquering through Christ and all that. And um, so the sort of uh, the, the disc, right? And um, this is the way, right? This disc idea was a big way in which they destroyed the families in the old sort of fashion way of families in the, in the society, right? So when you have the families, it's basically, that's the air uh, stability of the sort of natural society, right? And obviously this sort of air uh, ruined the idea of families in this, you know, set the set the men going off one direction, the women go another direction, see what I mean? Chasing dreams and that, right? And the, obviously the big thing about these discourse was the idea that you could go and sort of get sex and all this week in these discourse. And, um, and uh, so what they've done also, read was that you have a lot of memes about uh, how humans, right, who know the, the, what the human is type of thing, right, uh, you have a lot of memes through the television and the sort of brainwashing and all that, uh, David Attenborough programs and stuff like that, about how uh, human beings have sex for recreation, right. And they sort of back this up with uh, all the time with the dolphin, the example of the dolphin and the sort of uh, monkey, certain certain species of monkey, I forget exactly what it is. But they always use these two examples of the dolphin and the monkey to see, oh, well, these are similar to humans because they sort of have uh, recreational sex, you know what I mean? Obviously, the sort of only, the purpose of sex is procreation, you know, to create babies and all that, you know what I mean? Pretty simple, the work good. But these were setting uh, this on a different course, you know. They were setting the natural instincts on a different course, right? And using these examples of these two uh, creatures, right? So you have the dolphins, right? And basically the dolphin is coming from the uh, Eastern. It's a big thing in the Eastern um, uh, religions and that, right? A lot more than, than the West. Because <clears throat> I think you only get the dolphins, right? Or... or yeah, traditionally you get the dolphins more in the Pacific Ocean. Like yeah, they're big in, in Japanese culture and all that, right? Same as the monkey, right? So again, you're looking to the east for the sort of secret meanings and all that, right? So they have always used these examples of this type of certain species of monkeys and these dolphins, right? So a dolphin, right? And then I then had the T V air uh, uh, memes that the dolphin was getting caught up in Japanese nets. When they were, uh, you know, they were fishing for tunas, and would catch dolphins, right? This was like, you know, as we know, all, all TV broadcasters just basically coded hexes and all that, right? So I was uh, going on with stories about how the dolphins would get caught in the nets. So getting caught in the nets idea, see, again, is a, is a very um, coded meaning, with re reference to sort of, you know, the, the Jesus and the fisherman ideas and all this, getting caught in the nets, right? I mean, how, how they could work out that a dolphin likes to have sex for recreation or whatever, you know what I mean? I, I don't know, but that was the sort of the way they were taking the story, like, right? And the, the other ones, these, uh, I think the Bonobo had Bonobo monkeys, right? <clears throat> so same thing, the Bonobo monkeys supposedly have the recreational sex and all this, right? And uh, 
again, you go into the Japanese uh, culture type of thing, and the monkey is the sort of uh, the fool and the sort of uh, you know the uh, daft creature that's attempting to imitate being a human, right? So it's, you know we know the significance of that uh, in the you know the way that they view naturals and all that, right? So you have these two sort of hex lines all the time, all all the way. Still probably still doing it now. Nature documentaries, supposed nature documentaries, and all this, right? And of course, right? When you have these nature documentaries, uh, well, sort of watched in the, you know, again, the 70s, 80s, and used to show things like a sort of a, a cheetah or a, a leopard or something, chasing a, you know, a stag or a wildebeest or whatever, and catching it. And gazelle, Thompson's gazelle was one of the big ones, right? And I always used to eat them, you catch them and eat them and all this thing. And of course the reality is that these was never filmed out in nature. They were filmed within sort of game reserve parks and that, right? So it's like it isn't capturing nature whatsoever. It's like, you know, a confined type of nature, you know. I mean I have big, big sort of parks and have miles of air uh, you know, distance and that, but still confined. At some point there's there's a fence, you know what I mean? So these were confined creatures. It wasn't capturing nature in its uh, true essence in that it was capturing sort of you know confinement what happens when you confine creatures and all that see what i'm saying so maybe maybe if you're a true natural situation the gazelle or whatever would never have found itself in the path of the leopard or whatever see <clears throat> maybe the, the only reason the sort of gazelle got caught or whatever is because it reached a fence and then had to go back the other way you see what i mean if it had been allowed to keep moving keep moving it wouldn't have got caught see what i'm saying so they were basically Everything has been a hex and a sort of, um, you know, contrivance by these tea drinkers. Right? Yeah. So I so you see the idea that uh, uh, humans or people, right, people have sex for recreation, right, has been exploited as a, uh, you know, another hex. And the objective was to split up the families, which is basically being achieved see what i mean because when you have natural families and that you have the sort of a uh, stable background and the st stability of a of a society and all that see what i'm saying so it's enabled them to get right in more hex brainwashing destroy the society from within 